Now that we're done with chapter 7 of the tail assembly, next in the manual is chapter 8, installation of the tail servo and main cyclic servos. At this point in time I don't have any of my servos. Um, there's a lot of stuff happening, developing on the cyclic servos right now, the minis that are out there, um, some new stuff coming out. Here in North Dakota we're full blown winter so I got plenty of time to worry about servos uh, until this spring. However, we will dry fit a couple of the servo mounts to the servo plate assembly on our transmission and we'll get that installed here in this step and then we'll move on from there. So in chapter 8 servo mounting we're going to start off with bags 6.3, 6.4 and 6.5. 6.3 and 6.4 are our servo mounting plates there are supposed to be two different sizes. Uh, it has come up on Heli Freak that there have been a couple of guys that have had all of the same size or three of one and one of the other. There's been a little bit of bagging issue with some of these. So I'm going to unbag them now and I'm going to measure them and see what I ended up with in my kit versus what some of the other freak, Heli Freakers have had. So in 6.3, there's three plates. And the inside measurement that they're giving is 34 and 36 millimeters. This plate here is, we'll call it the 34. We're at 33.68 to 7. Let's see. Very similar. Thirty-three point eight seven. And so I would call that our thirty-four millimeter servo plates. And we'll look inside bag six four also. And here we have thirty six point seven two. thirty six point seven two and thirty six point seven four so we'll call those the thirty six millimeter plates so in my kit I have the correct parts um, we're gonna start with I'll probably just start with the smaller set um, initially was planning on going with the JR servos and According to Bert, you end up using the smaller plate with the JR servos. So I'm just going to dry fit those on the transmission assembly, see how that looks, and then we're going to uh, go from there and we're going to install that into the frame set. Okay, I've got the servo plates attached to the servo plate tray on top of the transmission assembly. They're just dry fit for now. Like I said, I don't have servos yet. Not even 100% sure which ones I'll end up with. Special note, it talks about in the manual making sure this chamfered edge is to the outside on all these servo plates. And the reason for that is so when our canopy goes on, that doesn't rub against the canopy. It's chamfered to clear the edge of the canopy. So now to mount the transmission assembly to our frames, we're going to need the canopy standoffs out of what the manual says tray one, but mine were actually in tray two. These guys here. Okay. So that might be a typo in the manual, or they move things around, I'm not sure. Like I said, you'll actually find these in tray two in my kit. Um, we also need bag six two, which is going to have our mounting hardware.
All right, there we have it. Transmission assembly, monitor our frames. Everything fit nicely.